A cannon at the edge of a cliff 50 meters high shoots a projectile with an initial velocity of 30 meters per second at a 35 degree angle from the horizontal. Assume there's no drag. Alright, so the first step to break it into velocity components, we are given it in a non-component form and we need to break it up into an x component and a y component. So we use trig and we use a sine function. So so, you know, and we'll have opposite over hypotenuse. And then we just plug in all the values and we use some algebra to solve and we get 17.21 meters per second. All right, to find the highest point of the trajectory, we have to remember that at the highest point, the y velocity is gonna be zero. So we'll use our two equations. We'll start off with this one over here on the left. So y, uh, vy final equals vy initial minus gt. Plug in the values. We have the uh, y velocity that we found earlier and the g. And we're solving for t, and we get a t of 1.76 seconds. And we're using that t, we plug it into the other <coughs> equation. So we plug in all the known values, and we solve for the answer, 54.53. To find the x position at the highest point in its trajectory, we're going to use the kinematics equation for x motion. So we're going to plug in all the values we found earlier, so the initial velocity and the time we just found, and we plug it in and we get this, 43.24. Alright, to find the final speed of the bullet before impact, we're going to have to break it up into components. So to do that, we need to find, since uh, the x direction is constant, we need to find the y. So we'll use our equations from earlier, our y final equation. y final equals y initial plus vyot minus one half gt squared. And we'll plug in all the knowns. And we'll notice that we have t unsolved, and it's actually quadratic. So you'll get one negative answer, one positive answer. So obviously time's not negative, so it's 5.4. And then we plug it into the other y equation, uh, vy final equals voy minus gt, plug in all the unknowns, and we get the final y velocity, and it's negative due to the direction it's going, it's going down, and so when we put that in component form, it's i and j, so here we get 24.57 meters per second i minus 35.71 meters per second j. To find the final speed of the projectile, we need to find the angle at which it's hitting the ground at. So we need to use a trig. So we'll start with uh, tan, tangent, and we'll plug in all the values. Well, first we'll rearrange for theta, and then we'll plug in all the values, and we'll get a theta of negative 55.47 degrees. And to find the speed, you pick any of the trig functions of Sokotoa. I just pick sine, and you plug in all the values, having the hypotenuse being v final, and you just solve. 